Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're doing another laundromat review. I think we're going to go down to Florida for this review just because it's been so cold up here in uh, Buffalo, New York. So we'll go down to Florida, uh, Miami specifically, and uh, we'll see what kind of laundromats they got down there and uh, we'll do a review. So let's get this video started. This is the Coral Way Lavenderia, which is Spanish. Down in Miami, they, a lot of Spanish speakers, so. Um, it's, they call themselves the premier laundromat in Miami, Florida. Self-service, wash and dry, wash, dry, fold, and dry cleaning. So it looks like they got Dexter machines. Uh, looks like at least 37, uh, washers. Looks like a pretty big place, so this is their website. Self-service, okay. Oh, here we go. We got a video. Let's see if we can, uh see what's going on here inside the laundromat. Mad or poor, this might, oh, this might be an interactive map, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, water fountains, nice sink, granite, ATM. Oh wow, they got a really small wash and fold area. Looks really cluttered and stuff. This place is just, uh, there's stuff everywhere. Let's go this way. Oh wow, more machines back here. Sorry guys, going pretty quick on this. Uh... Wow, they got a lot of machines jammed in here. 40, 41, it looks like. Is that tight layout? Oh, they got top loaders over here too. Oh, wow. Some older style. I want to say those are Maytag, but... If you know what type, type of top loaders are, put them down in the comments below. <coughs> All right. That's giving me kind of a headache looking at that stuff, but oh, here, here we got tons of pictures. Looks like they got two uh, AC 2225s. Uh, it's signed for an ATM, but it's on the other side. TV's not on, kind of small. Looks like this changer's out, but... I like the double uh, changer machine setup. It's pretty solid. Get out of here, cat. Ah. Alright, let's see what else they got. Let's see the outside. The outside looks kind of bland. I guess it's Florida. They got a little overhang. Door needs a paint job. Huh. All right. Let's see what else is going on. People love us. I like how they got all these pictures on uh, the website. Let you know how it's really gonna look inside. Not too many, uh, you know, one arcade game, one crane game, that's good. A couple snack machines, that's good. A lot of machines packed in here too, that's nice, I like it. Dry cleaning, they probably got um, off-site dry cleaning. They didn't have a lot of room here. Oh, it's not even a link. Okay. Uh, I like their website. Let's check out their Google reviews and uh, see some pictures on Google too. I like it. I like when uh, customers upload photos because, um, you know, like all the photos here look awesome. It could be when the day they first opened, it might not even look like that anymore. So let's see some user photos, user reviews, and I'll go from there. All right. I pulled up the Google page and the first, uh, 
question and answer section right here. It says, careful with the vending machine. The frozen treat was expired two years ago. <laughs> I thought I was the only one with problems like that. Let's see some more questions and answers. What is the pricing? Sorry, no idea. All right, those questions are boring. Uh, let's see some reviews. They got a pretty good uh, review, uh, 4.1. Four levels of washing machines, plenty of dryers. Let's see these photos. I'll go through the photos and we'll look at some more reviews. Here, let me put me, me over here. Oof, that just looks so cluttered and dirty. Oh, is that Ipso? Ipso machines. I've never seen those in the, the U.S. Huh. The crane machines. Parking lot for some reason. Yeah, they need a coat of paint on these doors. There. Here. Coin laundry, oriental massage. Oops, we went the wrong way. Oof, close 9 p.m. All right, the original hours, seven days, 7 a.m. to midnight. Last watch, 10.30, but then they have new hours to close at nine. Oops, went the wrong way again, sorry guys. Oh, that looks cool, that's the front. So that weird sign must have been over here. But that looks good. Laundry bags for sale. I like that. Yeah, it looks cool. I like that. The words laundry in there too. It's really cool. Get the blue and yellow Miami colors. I like it. All right, let's check out some reviews. Yeah, let me put me back over here now. Here, I'm gonna go to the top of the screen for you guys. Totally mess you guys up. All right. Loading, loading, loading. I wonder if the majority of bad reviews are gonna be uh, customer service on this one. I feel like the last couple of laundromats we looked at were really nice inside, but they had bad customer uh, reviews or customer service reviews. Clean and quiet. This guy, three star, buddy would recommend. Tried calling them, asking for. Yeah, that's one thing you could put the prices on the website. You know why hide your prices? No, no problem because if no one's there to answer the phone, you're gonna get a two star review like that. They raised the prices to turn the TV off. Machines are excellent, great service. Yeah, a lot of kids running around. That's the problem, this place is really tight. Uh, people using multiple machines, not a lot of move around. Uh, when somebody's doing laundry, putting it in machines, they got all their carts out there and their kids behind them. It could take up one of those whole aisles and uh, I could see that being a problem. Extremely crowded, always packed and no parking. Nice people, bad soap. It's strange. One of the worst he's ever been to. I guess he's not been to a lot of the laundromats. Good machines. Oh, AC is, uh, AC wasn't working that day. Ugh. 
Ugh. So they're, they're not cleaning the inside of their soap dishes. When they first open, they took pride. Apparently they do not. It's busy. If they, if they have an attendant there doing wash and fold, these machines should be sparkling clean. One machine for over 55 minutes. Attendant says you gotta wait till the cycle is complete. Yeah, if the pump, it sounds like the pump's not working on that one. They have TV and ice cream, cool place. Friendly staff. Too damn hot inside, no AC. That was three years ago. Always crowded. If you remember that one photo of all the garbage bags up there, I can see how it could be crowded, really small aisles. Don't come here if you need an ATM, parking, a basket, or anyone who speaks English. <laughs> baskets they should be able to take care of. Like They should just buy more baskets. If they're that busy on a Sunday, they need extra baskets, no problem. You can always tuck them in under the folding tables. But more, A lot of good reviews, some bad reviews. But a lot of these bad reviews they can remedy and uh, fix, so... That's always a good sign. This is the worst laundry service ever. Service horrible machines suck. That's customer service. Service is bad. And that looks like it. But that's the reviews. And uh, definitely a cool looking laundromat. If you guys are down in Miami, be sure to check this place out and let me know how it is. And until then, um, well, until next video, uh, have a good week. And I'll see you next time.